Hello everyone, today we will be learning how to create beautiful jhumkas with resin. So these are jhumkas which are, uh, you can take any jhumkas. These are from tulsiresin.com. There are different shape available. Today we will be using UV resin and along with that UV light. You can create them with normal resin as well. It's just that UV resin make them dry faster. And here is a bezel tape. This is for UV resin just uh, I am taking a thermocol and I have fixed the tape over the thermocol to give it a base because our jhumkas have a base so now we will stick and place the jhumkas over our bezel tape so just stick them nicely along with the base if your jhumkas have already have a base and it does not it's not uh, open from middle or any part then you can directly put resin over it but these jhumkas have a spacing and have no base so that's why we have to stick them on a tape similarly these big round jhumkas so we how do we attach the tape to this as they are open from the top and we can just pour resin till middle half only so till middle half only we have to put the tape and there will be using our resin so again i'm taking a tape and fixing it placing it just stick the base nicely so that your resin does not come off from the base so you have to stick the corners nicely along with the tape once our jhumkas are prepared to add up the resin here we'll be taking uv resin it comes in small quantity as well. This is a 200 ml can. It comes in 10 ml also. You can use it. Just we'll be using a drop of resin over the bezels and we'll spread it along with over covering complete base. It will be great if you dry this layer first and then add up your flowers. But if you want to add up the flowers in this layer only you can do that as well but if you have a base and enough space you can dry this first and then add up your flowers so these are queen breath already ready flowers and for our hard chumkas we are taking rose petals this was a dry rose and we are taking rose petals so make sure that we are fixing the petals inside the Jhumka. We can use a stick or a silicone brush to arrange them between the jhumka. And now we'll take our UV light, we'll switch it on and leave them to dry for 2 to 3 minutes. Meanwhile, we'll add up our resin to our third layer, third jhumka pair. Now, here we have to be very careful because we are just pouring the resin only at the half part of our jhumkas our jhumka opening should not be covered with resin there should be enough space between our jhumka and its opening so again here also i'm taking rose petals if you have a special rose to preserve you can use it here any kind of flowers or any kind of things you want to preserve and use them in your jhumkas you can do same way on the resin we will be sticking our petals and meanwhile these jhumkas layer is dry we'll shift our uv light to our next jhumkas so our these jhumkas are dry but here they are still uh, not ready we have to pour another layer of resin so again we'll be pouring plain resin over them spread it well covering the whole surface the whole top of our jhumkas and then once uh, it's been 2-3 minutes, we'll again shift our UV light to these jhumkas. And our third jhumkas are dry with their first layer. So we'll apply second layer of resin over them. Same way we have to spread it evenly. And after 2-3 two to three minutes again, the process have come. These two pairs of jhumkas are ready. Their resin is dry. Just gently pull them off from tape. And you can see our jhumkas are dry. If any case at the back side you find a tape marks, you can just scratch it off from cutter or you can use a sandpaper to scratch it off.
and in even in case if you seem like there is another layer of reason is required at the back side you can do that just apply another layer of reason and will again dry it with uv light It has been 2-3 minutes. Our third jhumkas are ready too. We'll shift the light and you can see the jhumkas are ready. Just peel them off from tape. And in the back side of these jhumkas as it's open as well, we'll be applying another layer of resin over them. So it would be total 3 layers of resin. For any extra resin which is dripped, just use a cutter gently, very gently to uh, take it off now apply the third layer of resin and again dry it with uv light just make sure you are spreading it well And this way our jhumkas are ready, they are dry. Sometimes we also feel a haziness or stickiness in the UV resin. Don't worry, just take a ball of water, dip your bejels in that and then use UV light. The stickiness would go away. So that way we, are create, we have created this beautiful jhumkas.